Alrighty, hello guys, Talking Me Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in with the bomber, and as you guys seen in the previous video, we actually ended up going for the smaller amount of bombs. Um, and now, as you guys see this, I haven't actually turned on unlimited electricity, which is what we actually need to fly this at the minute. Uh, and the front landing gear obviously hasn't came out, but it isn't actually touching the ground either, so it is fully balanced on its rear landing gear, which is absolutely insane. I don't know how... But it is. So, yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> that's so weird. That is really, really weird. And now that I think about this, I kind of feel like making a really weird aircraft uh, in the way that it only has rear landing gear, because that'd be funny. But, um, probably not a good idea, because we could get rid of the front landing gear, just have rear landing gear and have an extra wheel, and, um... Yeah, I mean, that would probably work, but, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on infinite electricity now, and I'm gonna show you guys why I don't need to actually change these bombs. We're going to leave them as they are. Let's get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so there we go. We've got our, uh, our landing gear down, and I'm going to show you guys us dropping the bombs. Now, obviously, we have issues, uh, or a few issues, um, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and send this in like this. We'll start all of the engines. Obviously, you guys want me to change this engine setup a little bit, uh, which we will do. We will actually fix this uh, for before we release it. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and turn on these guys. And we are going to go forwards and get in the pilot seat. Going to turn that on. I want to change this area so that it looks a little bit better. Because at the minute, I don't think it looks that good. So we'll try and fix that. But um, yeah, I'm happy with the way this is going so far. We just need the bombs to work. That is, that is what we need. We desperately need the bombs to work properly. So that's what we're going to do. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off uh, into the sky. Here we go. Uh, da -da 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 Almost tail strikes every time we take off, but that's okay. We are flying. Excellent. Oh, I did a boo-boo. We need to edit this. I'll show you guys how it acts to begin with, and then I'll show you guys how we're going to change it. I think that makes sense. So, this is the problem that we had before. Uh, it is going to continue, as, as I said. So, here we go. Sit in this little seat. We'll change this to, I don't know, let's go with 300. 300, there we go, and set that to there. Good. So we set it to 300. It's going to stay at this altitude. Very nice. The Bombay doors only open to 0 0.50 because uh, they actually interact with the edges, uh, which really sucks. It's really bad, but that's okay. So if we drop the first set, this is how it drops. As you guys can see, it has to drop off that, and they get a little bit stuck, which is not amazing. And that's why we blew up last time. So now, we're going to go ahead and modify this a little bit, and hopefully, it'll work. So, open this up, there we go, very nice. Go ahead and go into Kia, and we just need the doors to open a little bit more, 0.7. And now it should be fine. <laughs> it should actually follow, fully work now, so we're going to take off again, we're going to see if this works. And if it does, we'll leave it as is. If it doesn't, we'll edit it a little bit more. But it should work, it should totally work. Turn on the engines, here we go. Uh, why have I only done two? Hang on. There we go. Okay. Start up said engines. Hopefully this is going to work out fine. Okay, it's not. <laughs> two of the engines have definitely started up before the other ones. And I'm not sure which way around it was. We're going to go sideways out of here and it's not going to be good. Let's see how it goes. I've still got the brakes on, so we're a little bit okay. Alright, we're moving. We're moving. And we're good. All right, there we go. Do this, do this. There we go. We are going sideways. We drifted around that. That's okay. And off we go. So you got to remember, we can't do extreme maneuvers in this thing. It's not allowed because the bombs will jump off of their rail and they will blow us up, which is obviously not a good idea. We're going to go backwards and I'm going to show you guys us dropping said bombs. Here we go. So we got this. We're going to go to about two, 250 on this. Mark it on, there we go, excellent. And there we go, it's uh, setting our altitude, and that's very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and change the weather so that it's, um, so that we can see, essentially. There we go, very nice. And I'm gonna show you guys us dropping the bombs. So open up the bomb bay doors. There we go, as you guys can see, they are open now. And now we'll press one. Off they go. First row of bombs is all out. There we go, none of those actually blow us up. Second row. There we go. None of those blows up either. Third row. None of those blows up. And fourth row. None of those blows up either. So, 
We can actually drop all of the bombs if we need to, and that is excellent. That's it. That's all we needed, which is fantastic, actually. So now we just go ahead and close this up. There we go. Very nice. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all we need. We're going to go ahead and turn this up, and I feel like we should actually attempt a landing in this thing. I'm not going to do very well because we can't actually turn the engines off. But uh, yeah, that's good, right? So all the bombs actually work. Fantastic. Okay, so we're not going to attempt a landing just yet because we need to edit the controls. Uh, we're actually going to go to this seat right here. And honestly, the up and down is going to go to the spoiler. There we go. And that should be fine. In fact, we need an inverter. Let's, uh, let's whack an inverter in here first before we do anything else. Um, the other thing is, the floor is actually pretty much directly underneath this. We could put more bombs in here if we wanted to, but at the same time, I don't think we should. So we're not going to. But anyway, uh, we need this to go somewhere. I feel like up here is actually fine for it. There we go, put it there. And we're going to make this work. So this goes to the spoiler on every single one of these. And this should allow us to actually fly the plane properly, uh, which would be excellent. So this goes to up and down. There we go. And we'll actually have this be sticky. So this is throttle. Uh, throttle, there we go, excellent, right, good. So now that that's labeled, that's all good. There are other things that I need to label and I can't remember what it is. Actually, no. We need to go to each one of these. The lowest value is gonna be 0.05, I think. Uh, and that's gonna allow us to actually start up the engines and not move. So that'll be pretty good, there we go. 0.05, 0.05, excellent. Uh, and that will start all the engines and then we can push up from there. With that being said, I think we actually need some buttons to do this as well. So toggle button is uh, down and up. There we go. So connect this onto here, 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 and here. There we go. Connect this one to here, 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 and here. There we go. Excellent. So if I need to turn all the engines up at once, I just press one of the buttons. If I need to turn all the engines down at once, I press the other button, and it turns them all down. Banging. That's good. That's excellent. Right, so now we should actually have a fully controllable aircraft uh, ready for me to fly. Maybe. Uh, that is what I want, but is it what's going to actually happen? Hopefully these engines actually do start. I still need to do this RPS thing and the temperature thing. We'll get on with that soon. But the engines are all started, as you guys can see. And now we just need to press this, which puts them all to full. Excellent. And now we need to go to the front and fly the aircraft. Here we go, are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? So we should be able to fly it properly, we'll see what happens though. We will see what happens. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, here we go. Here we go, we are out onto the, uh, the runway, very good. We're gonna take off, as we should. Okay, excellent, landing gear is gonna go up. And we're gonna go ahead and put on the gyro. Okay, excellent. I kind of want the gyro to be a little bit less aggressive, but that's okay. So now, we are actually flying our aircraft. You don't want to do flips with this. If you do flips and stuff, the bombs will explode the plane. So don't do that. But, we're going to do a bombing run on our own airfield, and let's see if we hit any bombs. Let's do it. Alright, there we go. We are pretty much lined up on it, so let's go this way. Go, go, go. Hang on. Please let me out. Come on. Alright, padded seat. Let's go. Let's go. No! Oh, we're going to miss the bombs because we aren't actually there. <laughs> we can't get to it. Ah! Yeah, I need to make that work a little bit better. Right, set this to not that. 800. All right, set it on. Open up the bomb bay doors. Oh, you audibly heard that face palm, but okay, the bombs blew up. The bombs have exploded my aircraft. Why did that happen? Why did that actually happen? I think they might have slid up and then exploded once they slid up. Okay, my bad. We need to sort that out. So there's, there's a lot of testing going on with this. What I'm going to do is, because they automatically slide down, we're going to have something that slides in uh, and locks them sort of in place. So I think that makes sense, uh, hopefully. So we actually need it to slide in from about here, because these two top ones don't do anything. So we'll have it go here. Slide in that way, should be good. All right, we'll do it for this one. I, in fact, I've left room on literally every single one of them except the real one. That sucks, that's annoying. But we can actually do something with this too, probably. Okay, so we need a lock 
Essentially, in fact, I can do it from the front. Oh no, I can't on this one. Sag, that's really annoying. So we need to pivot. Okay, here we go, pivot. And it's gonna go right there like that. We're gonna go ahead and do this. And as soon as that pivots inwards, no, that's wrong. It's wrong. The pivot actually needs to go here. So delete this, grab this and put it in there. Okay, and we're gonna put this on here so that it automatically turns inwards and does its job. Okay, excellent. So bring this back to how we had it in the first place. There we go. Uh, delete this. Put the pivot on the roof. Here we go, put the pivot on the roof. Good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this. There we go, excellent. So uh, they're all gonna get locked in um, when we spawn. Okay, this is good. So. Uh, we need to essentially add one of these, every one of these. So do that. There we go. Excellent. Put this on. Very nice. Do it again. There we go. Do it again. There we go. Do it again. There we go. And then we need to sort out something with this bit, which is actually probably fine. Uh, except it's not. Hang on. Delete this and this. Put it there. Do this piece. And fill in that. It's okay if this bit's a little bit open. It will totally work. Okay, good. So now that we've got all of those in, they all actually need to be on a switch box. Yeah, switch box, here we go. Uh, we're going to actually attach the switch box to here. For now, we'll have just one switch box, that's fine. And that's okay. We'll have a number that's constantly on, or an on signal, I guess. On signal. Hang on. On signal, there we go. Excellent, we'll put that right there. Okay, so this is going to connect to here. This is then going to connect to here, and here, and then here, here. Here, 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 and here. There we go. And that's automatically going to turn it to the side, hopefully. So put this on one. There we go. Excellent. And we'll have a delay as well. Delay is interesting. Delay. There we go. So I'll actually put that there. Uh, and I'll have this connect to here. This connect to here. And that should be good. A delay of, I don't know, five seconds is probably fine. There we go. Spawn it in. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. All right, get inside the plane quicker. Go, 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 go. Oh, so they're not actually they're not actually low enough. So it will actually be able to move up to there, and if they move up, they fall off. So we need them to be one lower and then across. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Okie dokie. So I've gone ahead and actually redone all of those. Let's go ahead and go on the inside and see what they do. So they look weird to begin with, but it's okay. So turn the lights on so we can see what happens, and then they turn. They lock them onto the top of there, so these bombs can no longer go upwards. And because of that, um, they won't explode. Even if we turn upside down, I don't think they'll explode. So I'm actually pretty pleased with that. This bit doesn't look so ugly as well. We'll probably just delete this bit. And that should be fine. So these bombs can no longer bounce, and we'll no longer have any random explosions in the sky. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, the delay is perfect, the five seconds, so we'll leave them somewhat like that. I could merge these in so they look a little bit better in the roof, uh, to be honest. But I'm not going to, because it actually looks okay as it is. Um, and yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with this. We'll just delete this bit, and then we're good. I'm going to change the color of the bombs. They're not actually going to be pink, so let's change those, and we'll see what happens from there. Yeah. All right, okay, here we go. So pink bombs are now going to be a different color. They're actually just going to be, like, gray, but darker. There we go. All right, cool. So replace the color of the pink with that, and now they should look okay, in theory. All right, spawn it in. Let's go see what they look like. Get inside. Do, 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 do. There we go. So as you guys can see, these all spawn like this, and then in a second, they will turn, lock them in. Very nice. Okay, I'm actually really pleased with this. This is, this is pretty good. Um, I could, of course, fit more bombs if I got rid of these doors. I do think these doors are actually pretty good though to keep, so we will keep them, uh, and that'll be okay. And we can also make the side of the aircraft look a little bit better by putting in the angles again. Uh, and I think we could do that, and probably should do that. So we'll do that now, actually. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it! Let's go! So back to the white, there we go. Uh, ladder is actually what I'm going to use first, because I want to be able to jump out of those doors. So delete this, put that in. Uh, delete this bit as well, put that in. And actually, because it goes so low, we can actually do it here too. There we go. Alright, let's go to this side. As long as it isn't seen from the outside, it's fine. It is. It's seen from the outside. Paint all of this. Very good. 
Uh, and there we go. So now we can actually get up out of the doors, and that's fine. We're now going to go with this piece from the front all the way to the back. Uh, yeah. All the way backwards to there. Excellent. That's on both sides, so now it should look a lot better, which is excellent. We're then going to do these pieces, which are going to go all the way along as well, as you guys know. And there we go. That's all done as well. Very nice. Uh, the next thing is probably a lower one, but I don't know whether we can fit that in. So we'll see. Uh, there we go. All the way along. Is that going to work, though, is the question. I'm not sure if that gets in the way or not. It might. So on in, let's see what it does. Let's try and open up the Bombay doors. That's the only thing that we might have messed with there. So do this and this. Uh, Bombay doors open. All right, yeah, we might have messed with the Bombay doors there because I see some wiggling. No, we're good. We're good. Yeah, and it all looks actually pretty good in there now. Oh, look, I hate stoneworks for this. Occasionally, you actually get a pivot that just breaks and this happens. And we won't be able to close this mid-flight, so I guess uh, a Bombay door malfunction is kind of a cool thing to have happen, but we can't fix it mid-flight, so you'd have to land it like that. I don't know. Right, anyway, uh, what we could do is actually modify this to 0 0.65, and maybe that will actually open up enough uh, and still be okay to drop the bombs. We'll see. So we get inside. There we go. Open up the doors. Has it, has it worked? Or is it going crazy again? No, it has worked. I think the bombs might have a bit of an issue, though. They might not work still. Yeah. Also, I don't know whether it should be on a lever still. I, I feel like I should put it on a button. But we'll see. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, anyway. But this totally works now. So all of these will actually be able to drop uh, straight down, which is excellent. They will probably have to roll off this, which isn't the best. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think I think we'll go back to 0 0.7, and if we have an engine, uh, sorry, a Bombay door malfunction, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I don't know. It's likely to happen, but we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and take off again. We'll see if we can fly this thing again, and uh, we'll see what the bombs drop like. I I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying the build series, even though we're having a lot of problems with certain things. I actually don't mind it as long as you guys don't get super upset with me taking so long to do things. You know. Because it does take a little while to, to get everything right. But, um, yeah, this is cool. Alright, so obviously we do actually have these exits now. They do still work, which is excellent. Uh, so we can still jump off of here. Somebody did mention maybe we should have the uh, the horizontal stabilizers fall off um, whenever we open up these doors. Probably not a good idea, I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. Also, we should totally fix this to there so we don't fall off here as well. But it's fine for now. Anyway. Uh, push our loads to full. There we go, excellent. And we'll run to the front and see what happens here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go, go, go! Hopefully this works. Okay, so we are going forwards. Yeah, okay. I want to see if the spoiler works. So if I cut the spoiler... I think we should stop. Yeah, okay, right, that does work. Excellent, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. This is this is pretty good. I need to sort out the balancing on this. Oh, God. Uh, a little bit, because obviously when we take off, we've got issues. And if we don't use the gyro, or if we do use the gyro, we've still got issues. It doesn't fly in a straight line. It likes to ascend. Which uh, presumably means that it's rear heavy, but I don't know if it is. Because when it takes off, it does this. So I'm not sure, but um, we're in the sky. This is good. I like to turn the brakes back on once we are airborne. We're going to go ahead and turn that on. If you can't get outside, just jump in the seat. That's okay. And go backwards. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and set an altitude at about 400. 400. There we go. Set that up. Very nice. Okay, awesome. And we'll actually set an autopilot. We'll fly down to here. So set this. Auto pilot on, very good. And we'll actually try and bomb something for once. Let's do it. Let's do it! Alright, so we're flying in the right direction. We've got 18 kilometers to go. I haven't seen how much fuel and stuff it uses yet, so that might be an issue, but look at this. They're all kept in, which is awesome. And they all should work. That's fantastic. Uh, the light in there doesn't work. I didn't delete this by accident. 
And uh, yeah, but we're good. We're good. This is cool. This is very, very cool. I like it. Okie dokie, so let's check our fuel and see how much it is using. Uh, so the reserve tank hasn't actually been fully set up yet. We do need to do that. We need to run... I, I think actually running hoses to it is probably the easiest way of doing this. Uh, so we'll run hoses to the reserve fuel. Uh, these tanks are actually... You know what? We can actually probably fly quite a distance on this. Uh, I'm not going to lie. So we, we might need more fuel, to be fair. I might actually try and get some more fuel, but for now, it's okay. Anyway, we're going to run backwards now. There we go. Excellent. And we're going to open up the bomb bay doors. Here we go. Fantastic. So they have opened properly this time. Very nice. And we are actually just going to loose the bombs. So there you go. The first set of bombs is going. They seem to be a lot slower this time for some reason. But they are going. Uh, yeah, okay. I think it's those extra pieces that I've added in that is actually slowing this down. We might have to take those out. But okay, whatever. We can do that. Anyway, set two, a lot faster, uh, but not as fast as they were. I'm covering a lot of ground with these bombs. <laughs> not gonna lie, I've dropped, I've dropped over a very, very long. This is huge. We're dropping bombs in a very long line, but yeah, we are, we are still dropping bombs, and they are actually working, which is excellent. Um, it just takes them a while, and they go everywhere. But there you go. Look at them all getting blown up behind us. Just a big long line of bombs. They're still falling out. There we go. Now we're empty of bombs. Uh, the bomb bay doors have died. Yep, yeah, they have uh, collapsed on me. That's not good. And uh, now we're in an emergency situation. One of the doors is closed. Alright, we're going to go ahead and turn off the autopilot. And we're going to attempt to do some maneuvers to, to close the other door. Here we go. Turn off the gyro. All right, maneuvers happening now. Rotate, rotate, quick rotate. Pull up. Uh-oh, pull up. Come on. No. Okay, so we can't actually close. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> We're going down. Mayday, mayday. Oh, oh, no. Wait, the wings are having issues as well. Wings are having issues because my speed is slowing down and speeding up. Oh, God! <laughs> okay, Bombay doors have issues, but we can somewhat fix those. Uh, this is a huge issue. How have we not crashed yet? Are we going to crash now? It's an aerobatic plane. Like, look at it. It's not... <laughs> it's not crashing! Hey, there we go. Alright, that still didn't start out the door, so... Interesting. Right, well anyway, uh, our bombs do actually now drop properly, except I will need to delete the bottom row of angled pieces that I put in, because it stops them from falling out quite as smoothly. And it doesn't really add anything to the interior, so we will get rid of those. So, let's get to the inside and start deleting, shall we? Uh, we need to do this on both sides, delete these ones. This might even sort out the Bombay doors at least a little bit, which would be good. Because uh, it might be these that is causing a bit of an issue as well. So delete these as we go. Uh, there we go. Excellent. Continue along. Delete these. Continue. Delete, 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 delete. Very nice. Continue. Delete this one and this one and this one and that one. Very good. Delete these ones. This one and this one and that one. And that should be all good. Okay. There should be no more issues with the bombs dropping, I don't think. Unless this causes an issue. There we go. We deleted that one as well. Okay, excellent. So we've got no more issues that should be having. We should be having with that. Except we will be having issues, but whatever. <laughs> but whatever. It's actually this that's causing a bit of an issue. Um, and there's not much I could do about that. Uh, so yeah, not much I can do about it. I could get rid of this as well, and hopefully that'll sort things out. Because to be honest with you, it might even be this that's the issue. It might even be that that's the issue. Hang on, let's sort this out. Let's do this. So, we'll actually do this instead. Alright, because it might be that, that that has actually been the issue in the, the, the first place. Alright, so let's go try and open up the Bombay doors. And we'll actually make it a little bit wider. We'll go with 0.8. And we'll see if this works. Because if it goes crazy and it does the same thing that it's always been doing, then that's a bit annoying. But if it doesn't, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Alright, so open up the Bombay doors. 
yeah. It went straight away and it's it's died. It has died straight away, so it's not really the thing at the back that's an issue. Uh, it's just, yeah. Sag. Okay, seven. There we go. So, obviously, we do have a bit of an issue with the Bombay Dolls still, but uh, I think that issue could be overcome um, if we somewhat modify it a little bit more. But there we go. Open up the Bombay Dolls. I hate this. It's so annoying. Maybe if we make it open like a tad slower, uh, maybe that'll help. All right, so we go to here and we slow it down quite a bit. Actually, let's go to 0 0.07. We'll do the same at the other side. Uh, there isn't actually... Wait. Where are the pivots on this side? Maybe that's the issue anyway. Maybe the fact that it doesn't have pivots on this side is an issue. Because those ones are right there. Okay, so they're on this line. And they open up normally, kind of. So we're actually going to go ahead and put a pivot in here. And hopefully that'll be okay. So fill this in like so. Paint these pieces again like so. Get ourselves a pivot. And we'll see if it helps it. The fact that it has two pivots. So which way are these? Which which way round are these? So, okay, pointing down, filled inside, inwards. There we go. All right, excellent. So, delete this, merge this with this. All right, put this back. Grab one of those, put it there. Okay, excellent. So now, we need to speed this one to the same speed. There we go. I think they should be stronger too. So, is that less or more? I don't know. I get very confused with the more or less situation here. But we will make them more. For now, hopefully that'll help. Uh, and then we need to find the other ones, which are here. And we need to make those more as well. So there we go. Good. And there we go. Good. So now we actually need to connect those up with this at the back. And hopefully that'll give us a little bit more of a, um, a better, stronger situation here. So they're going to be slower, which is probably a good thing. And they're going to be stronger, maybe. So do this. There we go. They are slow. And they broke literally straight away. Really? Really, really? Okay, so the slowness didn't help, and this didn't help either. Let's make them stronger then, I think. See, I don't know whether it's timesing it, or whether it's making it slow- Oh, that, uh, weaker. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's try this again. Get back inside. Try again. Go. No issues there. Legit, no issues there. That's actually pretty good. That's excellent. Okay, we'll leave it like that then. Good. Uh, right, close it up. Yes. I would really like to actually balance this plane out better. Because at the minute, it's it's not balanced, and I, I don't really know why. Uh, obviously, that's all the way at the back. Maybe we should move it forwards to about here. So in order to actually do that, we need some weight. But then when we take off, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? It is going to be a pain in the butt. But there we go. Let's fill that in there. That is a lot of weight that we've just added. Let's see where this is now at. It hasn't moved. <laughs> it's going to have to be like tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of weight in order to actually move this. But there you go. So we're going to do this. There we go. Has it moved now? Yes. Slightly. All right. Let's see what happens when we take off now that we've done that. Okay. Let's see. So, our bombs are now perfectly fine. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and uh, start the engines. There we go. Excellent as well. And then we're going to go in here. And we're going to take off. Let's do this. Okay, I'm actually really happy that we are somewhat getting on with this plane. It is, it is somewhat working out for us now. Uh, which is excellent. Very, very good. Here we go. So when we take off, it might either nosedive or it might not nosedive. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. We will definitely see what happens. Okay, I have a little bit more control on startup, which is good. Okay. Okay, so we are still gaining altitude, but it's a little bit better than it was, I think. Also, the fact that we rammed our landing gear into a thing is not good. But whatever, we're going to go backwards. There we go, excellent. Go all the way backwards to here. 
We're gonna pull him in the thing, which is gonna be at 350. There we go. And turn it on now. Okay, excellent. Turn on the lights and the monitors. Excellent as well. Very good. And GPS, go. Fantastic. We're now gonna do another bombing run. Hopefully it works. Let's do this. Okie dokie, we are making our way over to the destination. Obviously, now that we are moving, <laughs> there is an issue again! Ah, this is so annoying. So one of the doors is not fully opening. Uh, I can't quite tell why. In fact, I can't tell why at all, which is super annoying. Please just open. Can I give it a few attempts? Maybe it will open eventually. Go! No, okay. The, for some reason, this door will not open. I don't know why. There's no reason. It's, 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 it's the exact same on both sides. Also, what is going on there? Why are the trees underwater? That's weird. Alright, whatever. We're just going to go ahead and drop the bombs anyway. There we go. On one side, they drop out pretty quickly now. Excellent. Drop another set. We are, Oh, there we go. They actually knocked the, the bomb bay door open. Interesting. We're waiting for the rear ones to still fall. They are still falling very slowly. There they go. Excellent. And now these ones. There we go. They are, they're, they're falling out more like they should, which is real nice. There we go. And that's all of my bombs dropped. And you guys will see them all explode in the background. And I'm actually really, really happy about that. That is amazing. Yeah, okay. The bomb site, probably not amazing. Uh, it doesn't really work. I might add a laser to it so we know where they're pointing at, but I don't know. It's more for looks than anything, so I guess that's okay. Camera zoom. There we go. We get a little bit of a zoom on it, too. Kind of cool. But anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in another one where we continue with this. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.